Surely you know Bruce Lee, the greatest martial artist of all time. But did you know that behind him hides another story as epic as his? After all, if Bruce is the greatest fighter of all time, whoever trained him must be as strong as he is. This guy is called Yip Man, and he could defeat Bruce Lee with just one finger. Not only that, he could take his life with just one blow. It all started in 1906, when Yip Man was only 12 years old, and began learning one of the most complicated martial arts styles. He studied Wing Chun, a martial art mainly designed for self-defense, but it's not for nothing that he became so strong. Wing Chun is so powerful that when used incorrectly, it can even end someone's life. That's where he learned strikes so strong they could break bones. As you already know, with great power comes great responsibility. After all, besides mastering incredibly difficult techniques, he also had to learn to use them wisely. To avoid going down the wrong path, he sought the help of two masters, which was great for his learning. Quickly, he became one of the top students. But unfortunately, a few years later, his first master would suffer an accident that would end his life. That's when Yip Man changed masters. And at the age of 16, he started a new chapter in his life. Due to the situation, he moved to Hong Kong, and the training he had to undergo there will amaze you. The guy went through horrendous training, from walking on flaming stones to enduring sub-zero temperatures. But it was worth it. He improved mentally and physically, overcoming his weaknesses. That's when something happened that would change his life forever. It turns out that Yip Man was walking down the street when he witnessed a police officer treating a woman. He couldn't believe what he was seeing. Even surrounded by people, no one did anything to help her. Out of anger, he confronted the officer and saved her. He promised to use what he had learned only for self-defense, but he broke that promise when he knocked down the officer with just one blow. You can't expect any less from Bruce Lee's master. The guy that's when he started becoming popular, to the point that it reached the ears of his next teacher. Yip Man still didn't know it, but his life was about to change forever. After hearing about what happened, a man invited him to his home. There, the master closely observed the boy's movements. He said that Yip Man's technique was not yet complete and offered to teach him everything he knew. That's how he grew up, training every day, always pushing his limits to become stronger. Yip Man faced a lot of mockery for practicing a martial art that at that time was considered for weak people, but he didn't pay attention to it. He returned home much stronger and determined to bring justice to those who couldn't do it on their own. The most incredible thing is that he had never taught anyone to fight like him. That's why he was increasingly admired for his secret techniques, unparalleled wisdom, and his way of being. The guy was so strong that he managed to survive two but it was after returning home that the most impressive thing happened. Believe it or not, Bruce Lee's master didn't really like teaching martial arts. But like all of us, he also had bills to pay. So he started teaching, but only to those who deserved his knowledge. Many people came to him to try to learn his techniques. But the most surprising thing is that among these people entered a child, belligerent and aggressive. But who would become his greatest pride? That child was Bruce Lee, the greatest martial artist of all time. Initially, he refused to train Bruce, but the next day, the young legend returned, remorseful, and apologized for his behavior. This made Yip Man change his mind and trust the boy, making him swear that he would always use his skills for good. That's how Bruce Lee became famous. He trained with the greatest master of all time for 10 years until Yip Man was finally defeated, but not by a person but by his own body that stopped working at the age of 79. That was the life of one of the strongest martial arts masters ever. Among his toughest opponents, he overcame wars, humiliations, and various challenges, but was never defeated. So the only one capable of defeating Yip Man was Yip Man himself.